Let us learn about the transpose of a matrix. Now, many often you see a matrix, let's say we call this as matrix A, wherein the terms are 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 4, under root 8, 6, 7, 8, 7, 3, and 8. When we talk about the order, the order of the matrix is 1, 2, 3, 4 rows into 1, 2, 3, 3 columns. Right? Now, when you talk about a transpose of a matrix, transpose of a matrix is basically written as A and then you add on this hyphen to it. Right? What do you mean by transpose of a matrix? Transpose of a matrix is obtained by interchanging the rows and columns. Right? So let's say and now I'll use different colors to mark different rows. This is what? This is basically R1, R2, R3, R4. So you have what is called the row 1, right? You need to change the row 1 to column 1. So 1, 4, 8 will become 1, 4, 8. So this is C1. So R1 will change to column 1. We say we've interchanged the rows and column. So R1 becomes C1. Even before that, let me tell you one other thing here. When you say the order of a matrix is M by N, when you look at the transpose of a matrix, the order of transpose of A will become N by M when you refer it to this matrix. So this will become 3 by 4, meaning you will have 3 rows and 4 columns. So what I did here was, I converted the first row, which is 1, 4, 8, into first column. Again, R2 will become C2. So you had 2 here, you had root 8 here, and you have 7 here. Again, R3 will become column 3. So you put up 3, 6, 3. You put them down as elements of column 3. And last but not the least, R3, R4 becomes C4. 4, 7, 8. So what happened was, we obtained a new matrix called transpose of A by interchanging the rows and the columns. Now once you change the rows into columns, you will notice that the columns have actually become rows. Let's see that. So we had column 1, which was 1, 2, 3, 4. Now if you see, after you write the rows into column form, this column actually becomes the row 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, if you notice, 4 root 8, 6, 7, this became row. So C2 actually became R2, C1 became R1, and C3, 8, 7, 3, 8, became actually R3. Right? So basically, the transpose of a matrix was obtained by interchanging the rows and the column. Through certain examples, we will be seeing various properties relating to the transpose of matrix.
But before that, let me just do a simple one matrix again for you. So let's say you have B, which is equal to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is a 3 by 3 matrix. If you have to find out B transpose, then you convert the first row into first column for 7. Ten. You convert the second row into second column 5, 8, 11 and you convert the third row into third column 6, 9, 12. Okay. So basically what I have done here is I have just changed the rows into column and automatically the columns will become the rows. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's pretty simple to find out the rows and the column of the transpose.